Your situation is... Uh, Greg, can you play, play a child? A kid? Uh, I'm afraid no. Contractually, I'm forbidden to. <laughs> well, thank you for watching Who's Diners anyway. Uh, we'll be showing it. No, can I just persuade you to do that? And, right. uh... Yes, two hairs left on Clive Anderson's head. <laughs> Sure is lonely up here. <laughs> Your worst nightmare. Hi, I'm Clive Anderson. I'm in here. <laughs> here, we're halfway there on this one. What hell looks like? I could see where that was. You headed. won't even let us. Yeah. <laughs> what a crisis that he's got, a, some crisis facing the world, or some problem he's got to solve. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> so, junk, junk Man has got to solve English television's problem. <laughs> so, so it's, it's perfectly obvious. It's perfectly obvious that Junk Man would just turn into American television, but uh, there we go. <laughs> Oh, that's what to get the crowd on my side, isn't it? <laughs> Bad call, home yeah. slice. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> and, uh, what we in England call burger bars, hamburger bars. Do you have them over here? Yeah. Yes, yeah. you do. He's an American contribution to the world. Uh, <laughs> nourishment, well, isn't we, it? We have clever little chip shops. <laughs> <laughs> Me against all four Americans here. Mustn't pick on me. Um, oh, you can if you like. Now, start with Greg. Now, get a very unlikely or impossible or... Proctologist man. Proctologist man. Okay. The audience member's gone. It just came to you looking at Greg, didn't it? Just, just there's something about him, isn't there? Uh, but uh, can you think of a position to put Greg in? All fours. All fours. Okay, yes. Thank you. Yes, right. <laughs> Get down, get down, Greg. That's it. <laughs> you never stop, do you? <laughs> but you never insatiable. Stop. You never stop. If you like to come on, can we think of something that Greg's uh, afraid of? He's got a, an un He's frightened of women. Yes. All right. Well, maybe, maybe you know Greg. So let's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there you are. You're well, you do, don't you, Clark? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, ra rather too well for my own taste, oh but uh, where you go? Rocky Blossom? <laughs> Blossom? Ro Blossom the, the Rocky film. Blossom Horror Show. Yeah. <laughs> what is Blossom? That's a shoe polish, isn't it? Cherry it's Blossom. American sitcom, homeboy. <laughs> <laughs> right, jolly good. Blossom will start with that, I think. Oh, well, that's all good, yeah. And there was major in, a, in an air crash. So there's some world leaders in an air crash. So you're, you're solving it. <laughs> <laughs> you can solve it or try not to. Um, so what sort of superhero is Greg? Jellyman. <laughs> Jellyman. Jellyman's good, isn't it? Let's go for Jellyman. Okay. You got a different jelly here. All oh, right. What, what jelly do you have in America then? We call it Jello. <laughs> oh well, there. Well, uh, well, simultaneous translation, we like as we go along. So anytime I say jelly, I mean Jello in America. Okay. <laughs> And any time I say naff git, that means Clive Anderson. <laughs> uh, and I thank you. I'll be here the rest of the night. Even at Clive. Do you want to sit down now? No, I'm pretty much done, yeah. Yes. Can we start? Yes. The thing I'd like you to do is, uh, is a stick-up. Um, I think you have those in America, don't you? Um... Yeah, we invented it. Earthquake <laughs> is a good one. This is an earthquake going on. Some massive earthquake uh, somewhere in the world, probably in your home city of San Francisco, the way things are. But... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're safe here in London. But Greg is a superhero, but he's not Superman or Batman. What kind of man is he? Hamster Man. Hamster Man, very good. <laughs> Hamster Man, you've seen him then. And uh, so he's, he's, he's Hamster Man, and the next person who comes How in... How well you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could have been Gerbil Man. So now the... Yes, we have yes, in America. Yes, Mr. Yeah. Patronizing yeah. Barrister, we have it in America. Oh, you might have... Okay, I think you take over now from this and you're going to introduce everybody. Cheers, here. matey. Okay. Party's already underway rather earlier than usual. Hmm. Clive Anderson, spoken word on CD. <laughs> <coughs>
Thank you very much. Come that in. was a crisis seat. nearly averted. The sheep shearer. Thank you. The revenge of the sheep shearer. That's not what he said. I know, but I'm, I'm turning into a film title. It's cool. So you... I shan't quibble, Mr. Yeah. Anderson. Yeah, the other three... Craig, let us move on. Comedy awaits. Yeah. James! Yes, it's new and it's extendable. <laughs> well, one out of two, Greg. Ballet. Greg. I never liked. <laughs> I never liked uh, ballet before that. Yes. Neither did I. But... I am Vishnu, the destroyer. Come with me or perish. Date me or face the bald man. And number one's Lady Die. Oh, so close! So well, you're doing so well. It was the answers about food should have given you given it away. Lady oh, Di would right. never have eaten all the eaten you up and not asked for more. Oh. She'd have eaten you up and thrown you up again. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and haven't we all thought about that? Oh. <laughs> uh, well, we haven't done Shakespeare for a while. Let's try Shakespeare. For if you in my cell do stoop with thou snout and thy in thy mouth at the smoke, here in nine foot by nine foot I would choke, and we ne'er would this three years escape and be free to go back to our loved ones that did here put us in the first place, my lord. <laughs> Indeed. Thy mouth waggles like a duck's butt sliding down an icy hill backwards. <laughs> thou should have thought before thou wast put in captivity of thy felonious crime. Wouldst thou not know that thou would be stuck with me? <laughs> Follow me now so closely, when snout I do put in thy mouth. <laughs> he does talk dribble, but I just like him very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we know why I don't do Shakespeare very often, then. Uh, ducks and butt, you don't get very often in Shakespeare, but there it is. Sections of the tape, which will be provided by the ever-talented... No, it's Greg Poops. Sorry. Boomerang Man, I haven't said. Anyway, Boomerang Man, and what problem is he dealing with? Hair loss. Hair loss. <laughs> OK, that's... Uh... <laughs> I don't know I ever suggested that before in these recordings, I don't know. So you are definitely the man to deal with it. It's uh, Boomerang Man dealing with a loss of hair around the world. Away you go. Thanks. <laughs> wow, you're actually a beautiful martini man. <laughs> My God, what's on the world crisis monitor? I, not in that big a hurry. After all, it's cocktail hour. Mmm, <laughs> well, that is gorgeous. <laughs> My God, there's hair loss all over the world. Look at Clive. Anderson's. It's like continental drift. All the hair is going away. I hope my super friends show up soon.